Hello guys, today I want to talk about returning JSON from your API controllers or routes and about this code. First I will show you how it can be shortened. Also I will show you two ways how Laravel helps us automate things for APIs specifically. And thirdly, I will share a thought why that approach of returning user all probably is not the best practice. So first here's API controller and the route is just index method, nothing really fancy here, and it does actually work. So if we launch this in Postman or API client, we do have the results of users from the database. Now, first automation from Laravel. Did you know that if you return eloquent collection or eloquent model directly from your controllers or routes, Laravel will automatically transform that to JSON. So you don't need to specifically specify return response JSON. The result will be absolutely the same. In Laravel terms and eloquent terms, it's called serialization or serializing. So here's the quote from the docs. You can do to JSON yourself or Laravel will automatically do that for you if you just return user all. So that's the first automation. Now the second automation. In your Postman results, have you noticed that there is no password returned? Although it seems like from controller we're returning user all, we don't specify the select fields. And that is automated and you can do that automation in any eloquent model by specifying hidden array. So if you're using that serialization using to JSON or to array manually or returning the data from the controller like in this case, in the process of that serialization Laravel will hide all the fields that you will specify in the hidden here. For example, if we add ID here and relaunch, we don't have ID here anymore. So that's how you can control sensitive fields like passwords or anything you want to hide by default from serialized JSON responses. But on the other hand, that automation and that short controller may be not the best way to do things. And let me explain why. So you imagine you have this controller with automation happening in the eloquent model and then someone else in the future, some other developers, or it may be yourself, change something in the eloquent model without changing the controller or that API route. Then the result of all controllers that work in this way would be affected by some change in the eloquent model. So that's why my advice would be to specify what you want to return for specific API call. Automation is cool, but global automation sometimes is risky and may cause trouble in the future. So instead of doing this, I would recommend to use eloquent API resources. So you generate an artisan make resource user resource, then in that resource file, you specify the fields, specifically the fields that you want to return. So ID equals this, ID and then all the other fields. Let's finish that simulation. For example, let's return only ID and email and it allows you to customize whatever format you want to use for that specific API call. And then in the controller, you use that API resource. So return user resource collection from user all. And the result in the postman is this. So you return only ID and email. And API resources, by the way, automatically add the data wrapper, which is kind of a standard for APIs in general, and you can customize all of that. But the result is that you are in control of what is returned for that specific API call or for all the calls that use user resource class. In a way, it's similar to data transfer object, DTOs, where you define the structure for various data manipulations. So in this case, you define the structure to be returned for all or majority of the API routes related to that eloquent model. So yeah, this would be my advice to use eloquent API resources as kind of a standard especially as they are very convenient and quick to use. But what do you think? Let's discuss in the comments. How do you return results from your APIs? Directly returning Eloquent, using Eloquent API resources, or in some other way? Let's discuss in the comments. And if you want more tips and tricks and information about how to create APIs in Laravel, one of our recently updated courses to Laravel 11 is 
how to build Laravel 11 API from scratch. So I will link that in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.